Hello and welcome back to another Good Game Empire video on my channel. Today we will take a look at the May update 2022. So today we have the 33rd day of May, so the last day. And Good Game Studios managed to release a monthly update uh, at the end of this month. So we will take a close look at all the changes, including also some hidden changes, which our staff managed to take a look at by checking some game files. Basically, in this video, there will be a lot of changes. This is a huge update to the game. Uh, I must tell you that, I mean, there will be uh, huge changes to the game after this update. We will have to, to collect a lot of new equipment, basically, but let's dive into it. Okay, so the first topic is new equipment, or should I call it the relic equipment of second generation. That's how the Good Game Empire developers coded this and called this. Uh, so we will have the second generation of relic equipment. The first sign of this update, which we can already see, is that all the maximum statistics were increased. So the maximum number of each statistics in your commanders and castellans, which you can uh, have on your uh, equipment. Yeah. So they were all increased, as you can see, for example, the melee strength was 120%. Maybe let's go to PvP commander. Uh, yeah, melee strength was 120, increased to 140. Uh, melee strength against players was 30, now it's 50. Me uh, range strength, uh, the same, from 120 to 140, and against castle lords from 30 to 50. Also courtyard from 80 to 100%, strength in courtyard of castle lords from 20 to 60, and strength in courtyard uh, of NPC targets also to 60. The same situation for the castle, as you can see, melee units up to 140 and strength against players up to 50 and same for ranged, which means that uh, instead of 150% which we were able to achieve before, now we can achieve 190% in uh, both melee and ranged units and for the courtyard we can have 100 plus, well, we will see what the new uh, equipment uh, gives us but currently we can have like 120 with the bonus and also the rest of the bonuses were increased like wall gate mode plus 20 to all um, and soldier amount bonus on flanks uh, is yeah 50 for, 50 for the general limit and 20, uh, 20 more so now it's 40 actually for the flank unit of uh, castle lord so it's now um, in total 90% instead of 50 so we have these huge changes you can take a look at all of those uh, limits uh, in your game and I will probably put into the video description all the limits uh, I mean all the parameters with their limits because there's a list so I will publish it to you uh, of course and basically this new relic equipment this second generation relic equipment will be uh, I mean it the general idea will be the same so you have four relic items four relic, relic gems and a hero and you will have to compose uh, those nine items into one um, castellan or commander and to get the best uh, possible um, statistics so the obvious question is how can we obtain the new equipment well you cannot yet uh, you will be able to first get this equipment when the new monthly event will start and by monthly event i mean this this event festival of whatever it will be the next time so it will be a summer festival summer monthly event or ltpe some of people call it uh, and we will have the opportunity to earn tokens here so as you might remember there was uh, one month ago there was ltp uh, with tokens here so you could earn those tokens as rewards instead of gold pieces and you can you could spend those tokens uh, right there in master blacksmith as a third tab in this place so it will be the same for the next ltp event so it's gonna be either festival of new king or festival of summer i'm not sure about the name but i mean the name doesn't really matter so the the point is that we will be able to earn those tokens and there will be equipment uh, possible to buy, to purchase for those tokens in the third tab. So this will be the new second generation equipment and for starter we will be able to buy three type of items. You can buy a random item for 5000 tokens. You can buy a um, hero commander or hero castellan for 7500 uh, tokens. 
or you can buy a relic equipment which will have a bonus to earn uh, nomad tablets uh, from attacking nomad camps and it will cost you 15,000 of these new special tokens so as you can see we already uh, discovered new one new bonus uh, which we didn't have before we only had the um, amount of nomad tablets um, gained from attacks on the red equipment such as I know Phoenix for example this Phoenix commander had this bonus uh, as you might remember so now we will have uh, many of the uh, legendary like this um, the old equipment bonuses moved to relic equipment bonuses so uh, staying in the topic of this equipment um, so I said where will be the first chance to, to get this equipment we don't have any information on uh, what is any other place to possibly get this equipment so the only information for now is that you will be able to get it from the monthly event starting in I think three or four days yeah three days so this is the place to get this equipment from uh, as the first chance and what will be the new bonuses well there will be many bonuses moved from the old equipment to new equipment so the relic equipment 2.0 will be kind of a, a relic version of the legendary epic and so on and so on equipment so the bonuses which we will get um, except of the current bonuses and except the fact that the maximum values were increased highly so we will have a um, a hero which will increase the strength of attack in general so the strength of attack I mean the attack bonus which you for example can get from the glory bonuses glory titles so this will be one of the bonuses you could already seen it um, in the nomad uh, commander when the Khan is attacking you for example I think I have it in my, my archive yeah so I'm talking about this um, can we see it here I don't think so but the other uh, bonuses are there so combat strength of units when attacking the front as well as combat strength when attacking flanks so there will be extra bonus to have combat strength on front and on flanks so this is the one of the bonuses another bonus will be a commander hero which will give extra waves of attack uh, so it will not be actually the um, appearance item it will be the commander itself giving you um, bonus waves for the attack uh, another one is the um, reduction of cooldown time of NPC targets so you might remember this uh, global effect which was here before but it was taken out but now we will have this uh, in our commanders in relic commanders possible to get so I guess if you buy this random uh, piece of equipment of second generation you have a chance to to get one of those bonuses possibly also this uh, this cool bonus and the faster speed of return okay the next group of bonuses is uh, the number of troops at the front in general so not including NPC uh, nader players in general for all uh, enemies we will have a increasement of number of units on the front as you can see it specifies now it didn't do that before I think soldier amount bonus and this uh, flanks and the same will be for front uh, soon with this second generation equipment also we will have attack strength uh, yeah general as I said uh, the attack strength on, on front on front and uh, flanks and the uh, attack strength of support units I'm not sure about this ones yet uh, and also we will have a uh, attack strength so for example you can see that here we have I know here we have uh, plus 10 relic units strength when attacking we will now have possibility to get this bonus for mid units so you will be able for example to get plus 12 mid unit strength when attacking so you will be able to increase your mid strength even more by using um, a suitable uh, commander for example there okay also we will incre we will get bonuses such as number of yeah number of troops at the front but specified for NPC and for a uh, lord castle lords um, yeah chance of later detection mode reduction um, re reduction of fire damage so for example you had this fire castellan uh, before but you had to use one of those minus fire damage suffered from when defending so this bonus will be actually present in the relic equipment 2.0 uh, as well we'll have bonus to gain glory when attacking players 
and uh, the same for for um, foreign lords and blood crows okay i think this is all actually and we will have heroes relic heroes which will have bonus for uh, nomad and samurai tokens earned as well as the gallantry points from berrymont targets earned so that is a huge change i think okay so this was a lot to talk about the new equipment let's now move to next changes okay so the next change is very uh, much appreciated by the community so the change is possibility to extend the fist which you are running currently so as you can see i have the biggest possible not including the ruby one of course the biggest possible fist currently running and you can see 55 hours just be because you can extend it and there is actually no upper limit for extending this fist so as you can see you can of course extend only uh, the same uh, type of fist which is already running so you can change it later so uh, have in mind that if you have uh, not the one you want you need to wait for it to end in order to launch the one you want and to increase the, the, the um, duration of it yeah so we can increase it and as you can see i can do it as long as I have enough food in storage of my castles, no worries, I have every every place on uh, positive uh, plus production, so I can do that. So as you can see, we can increase and increase, I guess I'm out of food now, yep. So we can increase the uh, duration of this feast as much as we want. Uh, and that's a very handy feature because without, uh, without it, we had to relaunch the feast every six hours. I was actually uh, suggesting this change to, to Good Game Studios on their Discord server, so I guess maybe this was the one situation where they listened to the community, that's very nice. I, I also suggested to introduce bigger feasts, and so they did, so I guess uh, our voice counts, guys, remember. Uh, it's always worth, uh, you know, uh, suggesting what you have on your mind about the game, because there is a chance that they will introduce that into the game, actually. Okay, the next topic is the Colossus event, which was actually refreshed, I must say, because uh, now you can get decoration uh, with public order up to 4,000. So you can get 4,000 public order here, uh, and depending on how much resources you pay to the Colossus, you will get the uh, amount of public order. And remember that the higher you go, the harder it gets. So basically, it's easy to kick off, to start, but it gets harder uh, as you go up this um, this thing. So it's not like linear. Uh, for example, yeah, I paid uh, one storage, so I got 1,000. If I paid four storages, I get 4,000. No, that's incorrect, basically. It's not how it works. It works like a square function of, or root square function, something like this. Never mind. Okay, so the next uh, part is actually like other changes and adjustments to the game. So there was also plenty. So the one we can start with is um, the fact that now you can sell your relic buildings, which you don't want from your equipment. I mean, this was possible before, but actually uh, the price has been increased. And as, uh, as our team looked at the number of tokens which were there before the change and after the change, in most cases it is uh, at least two times more or even more than two times increment for the price of it so now i guess if you want to use those buildings it's worth selling because it's still some uh, tokens so, so it's worth selling for example i don't think i will use this relic storage so i can sell it yeah and i will get 120 construction 600 upgrade tokens so that's nice and that's one of the changes that they increased this uh, this amount which we can get okay another change is that they slightly adjusted the defense option for samurai townships and now it will be easier to defend attacks so you might remember that those um, towers were attacking townships or the other way anyways you had you had a task to defend the township against attacks from samurais and now they actually uh, took a look at it and decided that it was a little bit too hard to defend these attacks so they lowered the uh, difficulty of this and it will be easier now to uh, defend against the attacks on the samurai event okay and we also got a few new booster tools for events uh, this is nomad 9% I guess and this is nomad 10% so we will get new tools 9 and 10% for nomad and also for samurai this is 7% uh, I think 
yeah and this is eight percent so we will have some new tools with even more bonus and they will be able to purchase for rubies of course so if you have some spare rubies to spend you can buy new tools yay okay so now let's talk about some hidden changes that our a uh, team of my colleagues managed to gather from the game file comparison super sale or whatever the name is there will be a super sale in the shop and it will introduce the lizard slide decoration of 3800 public order i guess that's that's the one change uh, the other is that we will have a collector event which you probably uh, know what it is this is the event where you have the task to attack players and you are getting the special currency from those players and depending on how much you get at the end you will get some rewards so you might remember the yeah the tea or the balloons or the i know other things like bees and stuff like this okay so what can we get there we can get a decoration four by four squares so even tinier than half of usual decoration a decoration of flat um earth I think it's already in the game, but it's yeah lower public order. Yeah, flat earth. So now it will be 1,500 public order. The other will be the elephant fountain uh, decoration 2,650 public order and crystal palace decoration 3,250 public orders. Also, there will be possibility to uh, get some units to get some tickets of affluence and to get some other rewards as usual in the collector event so it will start soon i guess but we don't know the exact date um okay any other mm, like hidden changes yeah basically there will be new appearance items connected to this collector event also uh, a new change is that if you were mm, away from the game for a longer period of time, for example, you might know that you are getting some rubies because as a kind of like welcome bug bonus or something called like this. Uh, so now it has been changed and you actually, I mean, I don't know if you still get rubies, but uh, except the rubies, you are also getting some items to allow you to catch up with, um, you know, the the time span where you were absent from the game so if you were absent from the game for i don't know the exact date for example three months let's say you will get um if you are on higher levels you will get seats and you will get construction and upgrade tokens so for example at higher levels uh, at level 670 legendary and higher if you're absent for a few months from the game you will actually get 500 seats and 2000 tokens so I guess that's some currency which can allow you to catch up with the progress you weren't able to make when you, you when you weren't there. Uh, okay, and another uh, thing is that there can be some new special offers in this kind of uh, offer, card offer or whatever is it. Okay, and I think we covered all the changes. So uh, yeah, there was plenty of bug fixes as well. Uh, so yeah, there was plenty of issues which were resolved in this update as well. Um, and I think that's all for this update. So thank you very much for watching. You can discuss this update in the comment. And I would also like to invite you to my Discord server, uh, Index Courtyard, that's the name. And this is basically Discord server to talk about the game and not only. Uh, so this is like free speech place to discuss what is happening in the game. It's for all the countries, international servers. So feel, uh, feel invited. And yeah, that's all for today. So you can also leave this video a rating, I know, thumbs up or thumbs down, depending what, what are your thoughts. You can also show them in the comments. Uh, so thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.